Transportation in the Philippines is relatively underdeveloped, partly due to the country's mountainous areas and scattered islands, and partly as a result of the government's persistent underinvestment in the nation's infrastructure. In recent years, however, in the Philippine government has been pushing to improve the transportation system in the country through various projects. Pre-colonial era, people used boat and craft as their means of transportation for an easier travel and carrying their goods for trade from one place to another. 16th century, the Spanish introduced horse-drawn carriages and galleon ships for trade and commerce, the calesa or horse carriage. This mode of transportation has been used in the country for several centuries already. Calesas today are still built similarly as it was before, with a two-wheel carriage wrapped into the horse, usually enough to carry around three to five persons. Calesas are still serving some cultural heritage, sites, or historical streets in some parts of the country. Early 20th century Similar to the calesa, carabao carriages also have a two-wheel carriage that is used to transport people and goods in the country in the early 20th century, a mode of transportation which is also present in Manila at the time. However, carabao carriages today are no longer present in the cities as they are only being used primarily in areas where paved roads are still in the works. Early 1900s the Americans built the first railroad in Manila. It was inaugurated on February 12, 1892, and was known as the Manila Railway Company. The construction of the railroad was the first modern railway system to be built in the country. The construction of the railway took five years to complete. The construction involves clearing a forest, blasting through mountains, and building of bridges and viaducts. The first paved road between Manila and Baguio the road was constructed to connect the lowland city of Manila to the mountain resort town of Baguio. The road was officially opened on February 1, 1905 and was named Benguet Road. The construction of the road was a massive undertaking and it had a significant impact on the development of Baguio as a tourist destination and an economic hub. They also introduced automobiles and the buses to the country. It was one of the significant impacts of American colonization in the country. The first automobiles in the Philippines were imported from the United States in the early 1900s and the first buses were imported in the 1920s. The introduction of automobiles and buses to the Philippines had a significant impact on transportation and travel in the country. Our land of beauty rich in age-old customs, teeming with 20th century progress. 1940s to 1950s, transportation in the Philippines underwent significant changes and entered a period of economic growth and modernization. One of the significant developments was the expansion of the country's road network. The government began a program to construct new roads and highways connecting different parts of the country. One of the road projects was the Pan-Philippine Highway which was completed in the 1950s. New modes of transportation such as jeepneys which was introduced by American soldiers. Jeepneys were initially used as military vehicles but were later converted into public transportation vehicles. They quickly became a popular mode of transportation and are still in use today. Introduction of air-conditioned buses which provided a more comfortable and convenient means of transportation. Expansion of air travel In 1946, Philippine Airlines was established and it began offering domestic and international flights. The introduction of air travel made it possible to travel to remote areas, opening up new opportunities for commerce, industry, and tourism. Nineteen seventies to nineteen eighties. 
the government continued to invest in transportation infrastructure with a focus on improving urban mass transit. The Manila Light Trail Transit System was constructed, a modern rapid transit system that served Metro Manila. The LRT provided faster and more efficient means of transportation. It helped ease and congestion on the roads and provided an alternative mode of transportation for commuters. The Metro Manila Transit Corporation was established to provide bus service in the capital region. It operated in Metro Manila from 1952 to 1988. It was established as a subsidiary of the Philippine National Bank and operated under the trade name of Metro Manila Transit. 1990s to present, transportation in the Philippines is a mix of traditional and modern modes. Urban areas have a mix of private cars, taxis, buses, and modern rail systems. The government is still investing in infrastructure development, with plans to expand the country's highways, airports, and rail systems to support economic growth and improve mobility for its citizens.